Welcome to Ask Clem Today, the best how-tos. In this video, we're gonna show you how to put together a, the components in order to light up anything, for example, in the exterior, if you want LEDs. This particular one, it is a job that I'm doing for a, a family friend. We're gonna be lighting up the dock underneath in order to give it that green light to attract more fish. So, stay tuned. Because it is an exterior uh, setting, we are going to place the components inside this complex box. This particular it's a, a box is a plastic box that's waterproof. You can buy this at Lowe's, Home Depot, you go to the electronics store, the electrical department, and just ask them. They come in different sizes. This is a 12 by 12, by the way. And as you can see, I did some preliminary already. It comes with a rubber with a gasket to prevent it from leaking. So I'm gonna go ahead and set this to the side. I went ahead and did some preliminary work to this. In this box, I cut out a piece of plywood. It's about a half inch thick. You can use Centra. Centra is a plastic, which is even better yet. But because there's no water gonna get into here and all that, then plywood is fine. It's just Centra is a better product because it's easy to screw in uh, instead of using a, a drill. So I went ahead and pre drilled some holes and if you can see some lines. Um, I already know where I'm going to put my components. And so what we're going to have here is the uh, double power supply, the two 320s that's going to give me the 640 12 volt and then the four controllers for four zones. So this is my setup. Um, I believe this is going to be my bottom and this will be my top. As you can see, it has these little tabs that you can screw onto the post so it will be standing upright. So what I'm going to show you in a previous video, and if you haven't seen it, uh, just you can see I got it the link here on the top where I show you how to take two power supplies Put them together that are 12 volts 320 and to make them to a 640 watt so you can click on the link here or in my playlist at the end of the, of the video if this is your first time to my channel you may want to consider subscribing and, hit, and slapping on that bell so you can get the latest video by the way so here's my two power supplies that I'm gonna put in here and so they're gonna go in this area but before I do that, I want to go ahead and put some brackets because it will be standing up and I don't want it falling. Uh, so, but I am going to be putting a screw here to hold it down and one L bracket here. That's all I'm going to need. So. so what I need to do next is put some wires to go from my power supply to my controllers. And this is a 22.4, uh, which is going to give power to my controllers. By the way, these are the controllers that I'll be using. As you can see, the name there, uh, LTEC. And what's nice is you can have two, four, six, eight zones. You're able to use just one controller with it. So this is what it looks like. Now, I did number them, so this one, this one, I know they came together. Is it necessary? Not really, but I always like to number when I have multiple, just so I know if one controller goes bad, I know which one it is, so I won't uh, get confused. So we're gonna set this to the side. Now, so we need to connect this guy to my power supply and in here is where my power goes so you can see that there's a plus and a negative and so there is where my power is going to go to that so because i'm putting two to one controller i'm actually going to go ahead and have four wires coming off of here um, but so because this is a four i'm going to show you a little shortcut in hand instead of having two sets of wires so again this red handle is great for low voltage wire because it won't damage it. It just seems to be the, right? I'm just gonna cinch it a little bit, use my thumb to pop it out. So like that, it's not, doesn't get nicked. 
So now I want to go ahead and strip these on my second hole just a little bit longer and I will trim it if it's needed. Now in the LED world when you have four wires and it's red, green, black, and white, white is always power. Always remember that. And then I always connect green to green, red to red, and whatever's left over goes to blue. So, but if you have a two conduct wire, normally you'll see is a black and red. If it's black and red, then red will be power. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna jump white and red together and we're gonna twist this wire so they don't come off. You almost put it in a 45 and start twisting. That won't come off. So bend this a little bit, bend that a little bit, put it together, seize into almost like a Y, and then start twisting it. So now we got, this is gonna go into my positive, this is gonna go to my negative. So white and red to my positive and negative. And then at the other end, it's going to get connected to my controller. So let me do a few pigtails. So I am going to need my Phillips screwdriver. And let's go ahead. So on these, you have six. Three for net positive, three for negatives. So really, you can pick any which one. We're going to go ahead and put this on the left-hand side. Snug. Don't do it too tight. Then this goes to the negative. That's snug, ain't coming out. Now we're gonna do the same thing for uh, this guy here. Make sure you've got it's the units unplugged. You don't wanna be doing this when it's hot. Hot means when it's powered. Okay, so positive, red and white, negative, black and green. Snug, both, and then I ended up putting these little brackets in order to help me support it. Now we're gonna bring the box. We're gonna go ahead and put these guys in here. So this is where they're gonna sit. Like I said, I already went ahead and pre-measured, knowing exactly where it's gonna go and sit. So I want to go ahead and screw these in. I have several screws that I'm going to put so I can have access. I'm going to clear this guy away. Put that guy there. It's nice and tight. As you can see, it's not gonna fall over. There you go. So now we wanna put our controllers in here. So we're gonna put one. I like things nice and neat. So we're gonna put one here, there, there, there. And as you can see, so we're gonna put a screw here. And these screws doesn't have to be tight. They're gonna be snug. And so like that we can place these in. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna, before I put these in, I'm gonna connect these wires to it. And just so you'll see, so for example, this is gonna be my zone one. This will help. So these screws are loose. This is gonna be my zone one and it's gonna go Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to do it like this. So this first one has got a DC negative, but we're gonna go with a positive first. Slider in that way, and just put the screw in, snug it down, give it our little tug. Do the same thing for the black. snug it's in there so now we're gonna go with number two we're gonna do the same thing now remember white is positive so we're gonna stick it in our DC white here 
So we've got these four connected here. So now what we're going to do is before we place them inside, it's going to make it easier for me to collect the LEDs. But as you can see here, this one is low voltage, the plus. This one is white. This one is blue, green, and red. So let's get to it. Oh, and by the way, and these here, as you can do, I kept it consistent. The black and red. Second was black and red because it's coming from another wire. And the second said green and white. So kind of keep it consistent. These are the LEDs that I'm going to be installing. There are 12 volt. You can see it's green, red, white, and blue. And these are jacketed for waterproof and it is injected with silicone to make it more waterproof. I went ahead and connected all the controllers, as you can see, one, two, three, four. And as you can see that we connected the power that goes to the power supply, and the two wires. And we also connected the LEDs. Now, these LEDs here, it's 12 volts, and it has a 19.2 watts per meter, and this is five meters. I'm not going to, in this video, I'm not going to explain how to figure out the power voltage and all that. In fact, we have a video that you can check out. Uh, it's, I'll put the link there or towards the back of the video. So watch the whole video through and it'll show you how to make the calculations to figure this out to get the right power supply. But it's all on your label here, all right? If you're liking the contents of this video, uh, please give me a thumbs up so that I'll know that you're liking what you're seeing. So the reason I have four controllers is because these LEDs are super bright and this controller can only handle so many watts. So because of it, I had to add four to be able to handle the amount of watts that I got going here. And if you're wondering how to figure out how many watts that you need for power supply, you can check out the video that I have here on, on this video. Now to continue here, we're going to go ahead and power it up. Everything's connected and I'm going to go ahead and get this controller out. And in this controller, it has a little tab you need to pull out in order to save your battery. So there you go. It's working. You hear the fans going on, you hear the lights clicking, and it's going to remember the, uh, the settings here. So we'll go ahead and turn it to blue. We're going to change it to red. And we're going to change it to green. Now with this, and what you want to do in order to, to pair up your controllers, there's a button right here in this corner. If you were to push down on it for about two seconds and hit any button on the controller, then this will pair up. And then you go to the next one, you hit that button there that's in that corner again for two seconds, hit any control and it pairs up. And with one remote, you can control all units. That's what's so nice about this. And you have all sorts of configuration for your LEDs. Our client's gonna keep it in green. We are going to put a photo cell to this. This is the photo cell. I got this at Lowe's. It's a mechanical one. So it senses when it turns dark and then we can set it for two, four, six or eight hours or on and off. And so like that, it automatically will go on. You don't even need the controller. The controller is there if you want to go ahead and change it. If you're having a party and you want to change the lights, you can do that. But once you set it, it's done. The one thing that we are gonna do, and we're gonna do this at the dock once we put it on, we are gonna be drilling some holes on the side here. That's where this cord's gonna go. It's gonna come through the holes in the bottom. And then we're gonna have another hole for the wire to come up so we can put the lid and like that can be waterproof. The other thing I am gonna do, because this needs ventilation, I will drill some holes here on the side. I will put a little canopy in order to keep it um, from water going in. So it'll be like a little hood that'll go on the side. 
and then I'm gonna be putting some screen in the inside so no bugs will come in and like that air can circulate. So that's one thing you can do. Again, is just being creative to making it work. And so, and how it goes, it's gonna be standing just like this, the final product. These LEDs, you need to make sure you check the wire here. I went ahead and screw this. Um, this particular LED, if you look here on the edge, you got the plus wire. And if you follow this through, because it's translucent, you can actually see it, that it's the black wire is my power wire. So again, double check. So your black wire is your power, and then everything pertains exactly what it is. Your green wire is for your green light, your red wire is for your red light, your white wire is for your white light, your blue wires for your blue light. Now the reason this one has the white is because it has half the chip is white to give you pure white. It's a dedicated white. So other LEDs, the one that has just RGB, it uses all three RGB to create a white, but it's not a pure white. So just kind of remember that this is kind of cool. If you're looking to have use the white light, then you can have a pure white. But if white light is not important, like this particular job, we're going for the green, then it's good to have in case they need it, uh, they can put it on. So always check what it, and test it out because not always, just because it has a B for blue, it's not always blue, it may be green. Sometimes they swap it around. I've had that issue and all that. So, and you know, that's when you start dealing with some cheap LEDs. You, know, you gotta get good quality LEDs. Okay. Hopefully that helps. So you don't want to have the lights on for too long while it's coiled because uh, you don't want it heating up so much. This here is the Comtex box with the two power supplies and the controllers. So on the side here, I ended up drilling some holes on the side, as you can see right here, in order to give it ventilation. But that happens to be a solar panel that I found at Walmart for like under $5. So it becomes decorative also, but it has airflow. And then here, I drilled four holes so air can circulate and heat will go up. And if you notice, I put some screen and some silicone so bugs won't come into here. And as you'll see in the bottom, it's got the four holes, and we got the cord for the power supply, and then we got the inlet for the wires that's coming, which is on that pipe going down to the deck. We are gonna put a timer photo cell, but unfortunately the outlet, the bottom one was bad, and it didn't have a correct cover, so we're getting that replaced. So that's your box. Where we're gonna mount the LEDs to this deck and that's how you can take indoor power supplies and put it outdoor make it water tight in this box any questions feel free to give me comments in the bottom so I hope this was helpful and if you like what you saw again give me a thumbs up if you have any questions and uh, of anything about this please go ahead and put it in the description below and I answer pretty quickly. And if you have a project that you are wanting to do and you're not sure how to go about it, I'll be more than happy to give you some suggestion or even create a video of it if I'm able to. Now, we will go ahead and show you the final outcome of this dock at night so you can see how cool it looks. All right, see you guys soon.
And if you like what you see, you know, we have more videos that you can check out right here. And so you can be able to be more proficient in LEDs. You guys have a great one.